Welcome to Mini Make Mondays. Just going to see if I can get this on the um, to be held by my special phone holder thingy majiggy. It has been getting very cross with me when I've tried to put it on the tripod up until now. Just wait for a couple of people to turn up and we shall then see how we go. Let's just move this over here a little bit. It will we will get it we will get it sorted in just the per we'll find the perfect spot in just a minute. Hello Erin, welcome, hi. Just wait for a couple more people to show up and then we will get started. Welcome to Monday Mini Makes. I'm a bit nervous, it's the first time I've done a live stream like this. Can you hear me okay Erin? Hello, <laughs> you're welcome, Helen. It's it's fun, isn't it? Um, there's a whole lot of things um, we can we can do. I think we're okay. Thanks, Al. Thank you very much. Um, poor Alan has had to put up with me getting very stressed at him because I've I've never used this before, um, and he was helping me work out how to do it. So um, tonight we are making a paper album. Um, the idea behind this was that it was going to be every other week, um, but I think under the circumstances, um, we are probably going to go with um, every Monday, just to give us something to look forward to and a way we can make along together. Um, so I hope you've got all your materials with you. I hope you've got something to drink and uh, I've got my coffee here. It's all really good fun, this thing. I've realised my handle is on the wrong side of my cup. That's a strange thing to realise, but there we are. Oh, how are you all? How was your Monday? hope you have been well I hope that you have managed to enjoy the sunshine um, obviously it's quite difficult to do so um, unless you've got outside space um, I was indoors working on the website all day but my lounge is self-facing so I basically get to sit in a sun trap which was actually quite pleasant can you both hear me okay I know Erin can I don't know if Helen can um, but there we are um, hopefully some more people will be joining us at some point as well. I am slightly late, but fingers crossed. Okay, so if you guys are ready to start, I shall begin. Just give me a thumbs up in the chat if you are ready. Okay. You went to school, did you, Helen? Blimey, that's very strange. Right, I'm going to move this to one side and we are just going to talk about what um, items you need in order to be able to do this. So, your equipment list. We should have a pair of scissors. We should have a ruler. And Helen, you say one word about where I got that ruler from. <laughs> We need um, a pencil, and I have managed to leave mine in the other room. So that's a great start. Well done, Gem. I will go and grab it. Excuse the cre creaky table. You need a bit of cereal box. You can see what I've used there. Some glue.
candle or tea light, either will do. Thread. A needle. Um, some cover paper. It, it may be um, some K, C, C. Uh, but anyway, enough about that. <laughs> I pay for enough stationery over the time, over the years. Um, and then you will also need some paper to put on the inside of your mini album. Um, so if you get yourselves ready, I'm going to actually move this to one side to protect Alan's desk. Um, and I'm going to pop a cutting mat down and locate my pencil as well. And I will be back shortly. Give me two minutes, chat amongst yourselves, introduce yourselves to one another. We've got a couple people, a couple more people joining us. It's fine if you don't want to chat, you can lurk, that's not a problem. I'm just going to pop that back there for the moment. I know I was a little bit late for this first one, but often the way when you're starting something new isn't it Okay, so the cat is sat here as well. Pardon? Sticky back plastic? No, you don't need sticky back plastic. Um, you can have it if you want. I've got my whiteboard now as well, um, which you'll recognise as my whip board. And that is there to um, show you the pamphlet stitch a little bit later. So, move that out of the way again. Grab my cutting mat. You have to excuse the squeaky chair. We're going to have to get something on this. It's a bit unpleasant, all this squeaking. There we are. Excuse the wobbling, because there will be some, unfortunately. Right, so to start with, we're actually going to deal with our cereal box here. And we're going to actually divide this into two covers and a spine. So grab your ruler and we need to rule two rectangles. I've just realised that I like to deal in inches in, and this ruler is in centimetres. So this is a fantastic start for me. Excellent. Where's my ruler that has inches on it? Bear with, with bear, bear with, back in a sec. Here we go again. The phrase best laid plans comes to mind and the cat has stolen my seat so this is fun oh yes I know that's how what the conversion is Helen but unfortunately we are dealing in um, really teeny tiny measurements for this um, and my my little brain won't cope with that hello we've got 
got some more viewers say hello in the chat lovely to see you i'm sorry i was a bit late tonight it's my first stream and as can be expected in these things there were some technical issues but we're there now i'm just trying to locate the correct ruler in my pencil case so you can hear some rustling and probably see lots of pens and detritus landing ah there we are no and this is also a centimeter ruler well that's frustrating all right well we're going to do it as best we can let's put it that way we're going to do it as best we can so we are going to go for Two point seven centimeters. So divide these into two covers. My maths is not great here, so it's going to be a bit of an experiment. But we're going to go, as I said, for two point seven centimeters. It's not the sharpest of pencils. And then we're going to have um, <clears throat> have that by five centimeters this way. Actually, I think we'll just go ahead and make it three, three centimetres by five centimetres. I think that will be easier and give a slightly better proportion. All right, so let's just adjust that. I will write down the dimensions inside my rectangle as well for you. Okay, so we've got here. Five centimetres. And we've got here three centimetres. You probably can't read that very well. I'll just get a black marker and pop it on here. Hello, viewers. Welcome. Lovely to see you. Welcome to the first Mini Makes Monday. For anyone who's new and doesn't know me, I am Gemma. I'm also known as the Project Bag. I am an indie dyer and designer. Um, and I also run a local yarn shop. Um, but the project bag is not just about knitting and crochet and yarn. It's about all sorts of crafts. Right. Can you see that? Okay. So we need two of those, please, everyone. <clears throat> Shall I try and find something that needs sticky back plastic another time? Let's see how I am at drawing in a straight line now. Got a feeling it might be might end up a bit wonky, but we'll see. We'll see. How did that go? No, completely missed it. Oh no. We're all right. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Because sometimes even if you're a bit a fraction of a millimeter out, it can affect you. Okay. So we've got two of those rectangles, and then we need a thinner one this time um, which is five centimeters high again just over half an inch no just over a quarter of an inch wide so if two and a half centimeters so six millimeters wide so we're going to go it's really narrow okay we're really talking tiny here so we're going to go for six millimeters wide it's precision stuff no yeah 24 that's just about right yeah six millimeters wide and five millimeters five centimeters sorry tall so you can see what we're working with here and you really don't need much at all um someone i was talking to earlier was a little bit upset with me um because they had put their cereal out in the rubbish already um so they had to use a new cereal box and have the uh, cereal in the bag, but loose. 
which was a bit upsetting. Right, how are we getting on? If I pause there for a moment just to check how we're doing, because obviously you are following me, which means I will naturally be a bit ahead of you and I do have a tendency to rush off. Okay, let's leave that still for you so you can see. Hello, new viewers. Welcome. Welcome to Mini Makes Monday from the Project Bag. Um, I am a dyer, designer, tutor, and run a local yarn shop. And Mini Makes Mondays is just about taking an hour for yourself to make along with us. If you have just stumbled on us by accident, um, welcome. Um, and just make sure that you've got the following things to make along with us. Or you could just watch, join in the chat, and um, this will be uploaded to YouTube later on, so you're not missing out. Tonight we are making a mini album. Um, the idea behind Mini Makes Monday was that we were going to do it uh, every other week. But with the new climate, if we can possibly manage it, I will do it every single week. And actually, as we move forward, I'm going to make sure I do more things that you could then use um, or adapt to use with young people who you may now have at home. So there'll be things that you can do with the family. That doesn't mean they're going to be childish, <laughs> but they are definitely going to be things that you can do at home easily with things you've got around the house. Um, we don't know what's happening with delivery services. We know that non-essential businesses are likely to be uh, told that they need to really scale back or stop. Um, and obviously that's a little bit uh, problematic for lots of people. But um, yeah, we are um, going to try and make things with things we've got around the home. Uh, if you've got ideas or if you've got things you'd like to see or if you've got particular equipment that you'd like to use or something you'd like to know, then by all means do drop it in the chat. Follow me on Instagram. I am at the underscore project underscore bag on Instagram. I'm also on Facebook and YouTube. So um be lovely if the other viewers here could uh, introduce themselves, but I quite understand if you don't want to. Now, are you ready? Can you let me know in the chat if you are ready for us to move on to the next stage? Have you drawn your, your pieces out? I don't want to go too fast, but at the same time, I want to make sure we get this done. Erin's uh, ready, brilliant, thank you, my love. Helen, are you ready? Ooh, these scissors have been used for something they should not have been used for. There is some resistance with these scissors. Grim, grim, grim. Okay, so snip, snip, snip. We are going to cut these out as neatly as we possibly can and try and avoid feeling ill at the fact my scissors are somewhat sticky. Okay. So... What we have here is the inside of our album, the inside of the cover of our album. So this is the bit we're going to wrap the paper around um, to make a pretty album cover. Uh, the thin bit we've done at the end is the spine. Whoops. And the two other bits are the front and back covers oh no that's fine you can spectate that is absolutely not a problem um are you working on some knitting instead helen how is everyone are you all keeping well I'm going to try and mix, mix it up every week. So some weeks we'll have um, paper craft. Some weeks we will have um, stuff to do with fibre. Some weeks we'll have um, little drawing tutorials. There's going to be a whole range of things that we can, we can make together um, that take very little equipment and just about an hour. Now, okay, we're going to sort out the outer paper. Let's put those to one side for the moment. I have chosen, because I just happen to have it, um, an old gift bag. It's made of um, recycled brown paper 
and it had been used to store stuff for quite some time and so I thought well as it's all crinkled and I wouldn't really want to give it as a gift um, I will use it for this so here we are now for this one in fact actually I'm going to cut it this way so I can make sure the stars are straight because I'm a little bit obsessive like that um, this should be three by three and a quarter inches so um, going on what Helen suggested that's seven and a half by oh no three and three quarter inches so that's seven and a half by Helen help me <laughs> I wasn't prepared for this this nonsense what is this having to do maths right okay seven and a half whoops so that's our kind of three inches and then seven and a half and another three quarters of an inch so another six so 8.1 centimeters should we just go for eight Although actually thinking about it, I should check what I changed this to. So we did five by three. Hopefully this works, hopefully. We shall have to see, it could, it could all go gloriously wrong. That's the fun of, of live, live streams and live TV, isn't it? Right, seven and a half. Let's just check that, yeah, look, I've completely there's saying I want to do it on that side so I can see the stars line up and then I've drawn a completely wonky line but oh well that's what rubbers are for isn't it that is what rubbers are for so let me just see if this is going to work maybe that I need to draw it again a little bit bigger sorry I keep trying I must try and put this under the center of the camera it needs to be a one eighth of an inch gap between no I think I think that should work actually actually I'm going to extend it to hmm yeah it's definitely that way that's quite a lot of extra that way isn't it I am just going to extend it um I think if I do it again Mm -hmm. So if I was to take off half a centimetre, yeah, so we're going to go instead for seven centimetres by eight and a half centimetres, okay? Sorry, sorry about this folks, it's because I'm changing it on the fly from inches to centimetres and I'm not minded in that way at all right let's go from here to make sure it lines up and then hopefully this will be eight and a half sorry seven it is just about seven wonderful Okay, so this is the one we're using, which I don't know if you can see very clearly, actually. I'm just going to go over it in black ink just to help you see it. That's the wrong pen. Let's use a, a fine liner just to help you see what I'm doing. I would, of course, recommend that you do it in pencil in case it goes horribly wrong. It should be fine. Let's just make this a little bit darker. I think the stars aren't helping either, are they? Can you see that a bit clearer now? So how was school, Helen? Was it a little bit eerie? Did you have lots of children there or, you know, lots of key worker children? You're not there every day, are you, volunteering? And Erin, I'd love to know how you're getting on with your sewing for the... Um, other production so we can do the same again we're going to cut this out now 
Um, fun fact, this is my first time making this as well. So you really are making it along with me. Um, it's been one of those crazy, crazy weeks where I just haven't had time to do everything I need. What's going on in the chat? Anyone talking? No, I'm talking to myself. It would be lovely for you to talk back to me, but of course you're not obliged. Here we go. Right, so we only need, <clears throat> well, we are going to need two of those. We're going to need an inside cover. But for the moment, our first thing that we need to do, oh, does it? Does it make it more fun? Good. You're not you're not feeling ripped off. I would say ripped off. You've not, you're not, it's free, luckily. Um, if you are watching and you're enjoying this and you think you might like to see other ones that come up, um, then <clears throat> by all means, if you hit the little heart button, you can follow me. I do do these completely free, just put them on for you, just to help us get through this crazy, crazy time. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and glue these in place relatively neatly so that we've got, yeah, so that they're kind of central. Because what this is going to do here, this bit of paper, is this is going to fold over, this is where I'm regretting using card, is going to fold over and wrap around to create the cover. So you need to have enough that you can mitre the edges and fold it in. So let's go. Prit stick hopefully will be strong enough. Other types of glue are available. Hashtag not sponsored, just a fan. I'm actually going to make sure I stick it rough side down rather than shiny side down. Although now I'm thinking is that is that the best idea? But but we shall see. Right, okay. So that's that one. Let's try the other side. This could be the wonkiest little album um, ever. Um, if you guys are enjoying this and you think it's a good idea, one of the things I'm also considering doing is um, mini make sessions throughout what would be the kids' Easter holidays. And they will be uploaded to YouTube so people can make them along. Now, hopefully, they, they look a bit wonky. Let's shimmy them up. This one will fit with the teensiest of gaps between. Yes, it does. So can you just about see there's a tiny weeny gap in between those two, those three pieces, either side of each, of each one? Yeah, I'm not sitting here being an expert. It's, um, <clears throat> I realised, and I have the best job in the world, okay? I mean... Aside from the fact I miss teaching um, the kids, I now have the best job in the world. I run my own business where I dye yarn and make bags and design patterns, but I also have the great privilege of running a local yarn store. It's not mine, I just have the, the fun of, of managing it. Um, so <clears throat> the fun thing is that um, they're fantastic jobs, but they take up an awful lot of my time. And as a result, I don't often do any crafting or creating for myself. Um, and it's it's not a woe is me pity party. It's just a fact. And I thought, well, I want to do something about this. What can I do? And because I'm one of these people that gets massive guilt if I'm not doing something productive, um, and because a lot of my running of businesses happens from home and out after hours, then um, you end up... Uh, <laughs> you end up... Um, doing work instead of play so if I make this like work then and fun with you guys then maybe I'll maybe I'll do it so that's kind of my selfish reason uh my selfless reason is um I'd planned this before the COVID-19 thing really kicked off but now it seems that it's a way in which I can help and give back and combat social isolation in some little way so sip of coffee and we are ready so Next bit we're going to do is just mitre the edges. So we're just going to cut triangles off. How's the resolution, guys? Because it's looking a bit fuzzy on my computer that I'm watching this on. Is your resolution okay? I'm 
hoping that that is actually visible. And now what we're going to do is take our Pritt stick or our glue or double-sided sticky tape, whatever it is you've chosen to use, because you can use whatever you want, my lovelies. It's all about finding what works for you. And I'm going to show you soon as well what the wax candle was for. So that could be... Has anyone figured it out yet? Figured out why I wanted you to have a candle tonight? It's all a bit odd, isn't it? Okay, here we go. So I'm just folding this down. Ah, look, those edges do actually mitre quite nicely. Now, it turns out the Pritt stick is not strong enough for what I need it to do, but I'm hoping that the next stage will help with this. I'm very, very hopeful. The green with the yellow grid is giving the focus some issues. Okay, well now um, I've almost done with the cutting out. So if we do the last bit of cutting out, then um, we can move the grid. I just want to protect. Actually, I'm not using a craft knife after all tonight. So maybe I could move the entire thing. Let's do this. Thank you for being part of my first one, guys. Um, and give me some feedback, some real time feedback. That's really helpful. Let's see if we can just get rid of this without destroying the whole setup. The camera's going to go wobbly, I'm afraid. Wobble, wobble, wobble. All right, fingers crossed, that is better. Oh, it's already a bit better, isn't it? You're absolutely right, Erin. That's exactly the problem. Okay, so I'm just going to have another go at gluing this down, make, making it stick. You will stick. I'm having some adhesive problems. All right, I'm clearly using the wrong materials for the job. Maybe I should have stuck to paper, something that would saturate, uh, rather than this thicker weight paper. But there we are. There we are. Thank you, Erin. That's much. That's good to know. It's better. Thank you. That's what I want for you guys. It's been an enjoyable stream. Hopefully, you have fun. Okay, so. Next up, um, what we need to do is take our fancy schmancy pretty paper again. Um, we, actually, no, we're going to do some cutting out, but first I want to just do... Take your fancy schmancy paper and we are now going to cut out a bit to stick over the inside. Oh look, it is quite wonky. Oh no, it's just it's just folded, not folded well enough. There we are. That might be better. Okay. Yeah, that's straighter. Excellent. Right. So we are going to actually cover this. And the way I'm going to do this with having changed the measurements, thinking on my feet here, is I'm just going to draw around it. And then I'm with my ruler, I'm going to come in by just a few millimetres. Think this is what we call thinking on your feet, responding to issues in real time. Okay, just going to come in by a few millimeters, barely anything, just to make sure that we are not going to end up with a nasty overlapping edge. There we are. It doesn't matter if it's not perfectly straight. This is just a bit of fun tonight. Learning a couple of new skills. Do a bit of book amateur amateur book binding, which is always fun. She says, like she's done it before. I've never done it before, but it's great, great fun. It's all good fun. If I say that enough, I'll, it's it's all going to be fine, right? Okay. Just the two of us. Right, cut that out. And now I'm hoping that the sticking will be, will work better with this now. Am 
marvellous. Right, get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. The rest is done. Oh no, look what I've done. I've <laughs> Where I've cut it, it's actually um, where the original pencil line was from earlier. I've also not done a very good job of cutting that. You can see it's overhanging my edge. So I'm just going to give that a quick, unless I turn it the other way, will that change, change things? Uh, actually it does so that tells me that my my thing is completely wonky um, so I'm just going to get a quick trim to tidy it up and then we're going to take our glue glue this really quickly quick as we can get it done lots of glue make it nice and sticky 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 I always used to get told off when I was a kid for using too much brick stick, but in this situation, I think this is a this is a use all the brick stick you can situation. And so I am now a grown up. I can use all the brick stick I want. There we are. Said like a true wounded primary school child. Um, right, and you basically just press it down, cover it up, and pray at this point that it is actually going to stay stuck. I mean, maybe I'll get some PVA glue for next time, um, but the idea is we try and do this with things we've got in the house. So, uh, final bit to do is find out where on earth the spine has gone. It's there. And fold it over. It should fold quite easily where the spine is. There we go. Okay, you can see that hasn't stuck very well. I'm actually going to take that off. I'm just going to trim down the sides a bit more to try and make sure it sticks a bit better. I mean, in these situations, I'd probably be reaching for the double-sided sticky tape if I had it, but I am trying to do this with as little equipment as possible. I want this to be as accessible to as many people as possible, and I'm very conscious that a lot of people who found themselves indoors with time to kill um, probably don't have time to do this sort of thing normally, might not have the equipment. So, try again. What's that they say? If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Or pay someone else to do it. Okay, there we are. So now you have your cover for your album. And if you fold it along where the spine is there you go so all right first time not too bad it's a little bit narrow for my liking I didn't want it to be quite so narrow so what I've learned from this already is actually my outer edges need to be a little bit longer I would say that they would benefit from being probably like half a centimeter bigger if, if they were three and a half across instead of um, three I think that would make all the difference aesthetically. However, it's still a sweet little booklet. Um, we are now onto the stage where we need to start thinking about cutting out the pages um, and then piercing the holes to do pamphlet binding. Uh, we're going to be going on till about quarter past nine, I think, tonight, um, in my time, UK time, GMT. Uh, just to get this finished, I know we've had a bit of stop starting while I've got things ready. Thank you for bearing with me. I'm actually really pleased with that. I think it's quite pretty. I would love, by the way, to see your pictures of this. Um, you can send them to me via Instagram or Facebook and I will share them. I can't share pictures from you if you've got a private account. So if you want me to see and share with our Monday Mini Makes um, then that's what you need to do you need to send them to me and i will share them for you right so i couldn't find the paper i wanted to use for my pages so for better or worse i've got shiny um, envelopes now i've had these for years and never had reason to use them so i feel absolutely no problem no stress with cutting these out and turning them into little pages now these are going to be three centimeters wide by five centimeters high no three centimeters wide don't want them to come right to the top do I or do I no they should all right three centimeters wide by five centimeters high and we have to ignore the fact that they're shiny um, let's just rip that open oh I really ripped that one give myself 
some blank paper to play with. Now we need um, six of these. Hello new viewer. Hope you are well this Monday evening. Welcome to Monday Mini Makes. This is our inaugural mini make. I've never done this before. I also have never streamed before, certainly not on this platform. I've streamed on Instagram, um, if you can count that. So we are having a real giggle tonight trying to figure out um, how to do this. Um, the idea is that it's a make along, it's totally free and it uses things that you find inside your own home. So we've made so far our little book outer and you can see I'm having some print stick issues still hooray and um, we are now moving on to do the pages and then we will do some pamphlet um, pamphlet stitching there we are there's the word so pages we need six pages so they're going to be because we're going to fold them in half so we've already discussed this, they're going to need to be six centimetres wide because they're going to, you're going to fold them over and we'll go from there. Whoops, keep it straight Gem, keep it straight. I'm just using an envelope because I wanted my pages to be uh, brown because I knew I was using this bit of gift bag but you can use whatever you want. Six and then we'll do six there. Okay, so that's three of my six pages sorted. And then this will need to be five in the, in height to match what we've got already. So five. Is this pencil showing up at all? Yes, it is. Okay. Arguably it's showing up better now. Five. I always forget to adjust the ruler so the line hits at the same place. I've never quite got the hang of that. Five. 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 Now, if you are interested in what we're doing here, you can, of course, make along with us. I'm going to be... Um, exporting this to my YouTube channel which is YouTube slash C slash the project bag I will leave all um, links there unless I have um, someone who can type it into the chat for me I'm also on Instagram as the project bag co uk seem to have gone a bit of piece here where's it started to go wrong there we are, I'm out by about a millimetre. There we go. So, I mean, they don't have to be completely accurate, but there we are. Okay. It's nice if they are more accurate than, than not. Sorry, just... um. A notice from the Discord from another channel coming up. So guys who are watching, is this your first time using using Twitch, or be it as a, as a viewer? Have you heard of it before? It's fascinating how all these resources suddenly come to light when we are in this situation um, that we find ourselves now with with being um, having to restrict our movements and our physical social interaction actually that sounds really bad physical social interaction but I'm sure you know exactly what I mean um, so I've been using the zoom platform to host knit and stitch nights I've been helping out some uh, local knit and stitch nights who can't meet I'm hosting um, a Friday morning coffee morning virtually on zoom where we all sit and create or just enjoy a coffee in a natter you don't have to be creating but if you want to bring your knitting or bullet journaling or product like that then you know by all means please do um some some suggestions actually uh for things to do while we are stuck in this situation is to take up journaling so i was gonna put one of the mini makes i was gonna do and or at least on the youtube i was gonna do some 
mini videos about hand lettering and things to, to make your bullet journal pretty. I am a bullet journaler, but I tend to give up after about a week because the pressure of keeping it pretty is, is too much. Um, but a kind of casual journal about this is could be really good fun. Hey, Julia, welcome. Hi. Um, by all means, do hit that heart button, sweetie, and give me a follow. I'll be mortally wounded if you don't. Um, you're not that late. So what we've done is we have cut out of our cereal box um, three pieces. We've cut out three centimetres by five centimetres. But we have decided that actually it would be better to have um, th uh, three and a half by five centimetres because that's a little bit narrow. We have cut out an another three by five for this side. And then the spine is six millimetres, which I'm happy with, by five centimetres. We've then cut out from our decorative paper, which could be the newspaper or old wrapping paper, whatever you want to use. I've used a bit of an old gift bag that's um, quite thick card style paper. <clears throat> you cut out a, a bit that is big enough to wrap around by half a centimetre all the way around. Uh, my to the edges. I'll just peel that back so you can see. And stick it down. And then we've cut out an another piece to cover the inside up with and we've just folded it ready for doing our binding so that is what we've done so far hooray third follower um then what we've done is we've taken the paper that we're going to use for our pages this is just a brown envelope that i've had i've had this pack of brown sealing kind of important envelopes for years um yeah, that's it. Two lots of three and a half by five centimetres and a six by five centimetre. That's exactly it, Jules. Well done. Uh, sorry, well done sounds really patronising. What I mean is, well done for following my garbled explanation. <laughs> um, so then you've got your kind of internal paper. You could just use printer paper. Um, I couldn't find the paper I originally wanted to use. And then I stumbled across these envelopes that I've had for so long and never used. And I thought, hey, might as well use them for this. And we have done pages that fit. So six centimetres across, five centimetres up, because they're going to fold in half to give us the three by five, or in your case, seven by <clears throat> seven by five. Oh, hello. Oh, Ariana, so lovely to see you. Oh, I'm glad you are you enjoying it, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully you're enjoying what you're seeing. Um, it's the first time I've done this project, so there are some teething issues, namely that my ruler um, only works in centimetres and this project was designed in inches. So, and then I couldn't find a ruler that had inches on it. Um, so we've done some very, very bad mental maths and ended up with something a little bit wonky, but hopefully it should work. Um, I'm glad, I'm glad that you're um, enjoying watching it though, Ariana, and by all means do chat in the chat. And as I say, if you like what you're seeing, then giving, uh, pressing the little heart button on the top right of your screen will give me a follow. Um, it helps me get seen, which means I can bring this to other people. Um, but also it, not it can notify you if you press the bell of when I go live again. But welcome. Really, really cool to have you here. How are you doing, Ariana? And is it Ariana or Ariana? I need to get the pronunciation correct. We did start a little bit late this evening, actually, ourselves. So <clears throat> I was having some connectivity trouble. This is my first time using Twitch. My husband uses it regularly. He is a streamer um, of games. I'm not going to say more than that because he's in education and keeping his identity um, anonymous. And I would appreciate it if you would help me with that because I know some of you know his identity. God, it's like being married to Batman, isn't it? One can dream. So now what we've got is three pages here and we just need to cut out the last three. So I'm going to do that and why don't you have a chat with me? What have you been doing today, Ariana? Keeping busy? Got enough yarn to crochet with? I 
I mean, the thing about this is it was, I picked it um, before all of the um, social isolation really kicked in and before the schools um, were closed. But I think you could probably do this quite easily with children and it could make a quite, quite a nice little memory book. Um, you know, you could even make them for <clears throat> each week and put the highlights of each week in there. You could make them a little bit wider and a little bit bigger. These ones will actually fit inside a matchbox, um, a really mini matchbox. That's something you could do. You could wrap, a, wrap one of the little matchbooks and slide it in. I was thinking about things that you could apply this to and they could have their very own little homeschool library if that's something you'd be interested in. Um, as I say these videos will be loaded to YouTube when I've worked out how to do it so let's just clear away the rubbish keep it tidy as we go pop it in the waste paper bin I have here and then we're going to fold these pages over now because of the type of paper I'm using one side is going to be shiny and one side is going to be matte but I'm, I'm okay with that because this is an experiment it's the first time doing it I think it breaks it up quite nicely And um, we're going to nest, what we're going to do is actually nest two pages together at a time. Um, we're going to bind them in little booklets like that. So we're actually going to have three little booklets with two by two. Right, I've been going for almost an hour. So I'm just going to have some of my coffee and have a break. And then uh, obviously with you guys. And then I will um, hopefully give Jules a chance to catch up if she's doing it with us. And then we'll carry on with the next bit. Are you doing it at the same time, Jules? Or are you just watching at the moment? I know it's difficult, isn't it? Trying to put littles to bed and... She's chopping, she's chopping. Okay, excellent. Chopping paper or chopping other things? I don't understand because you were chopping bits of garden earlier, weren't you? So um, it could be anything. I'm within my rights to ask. Right, so that's what we've got so far. Three little bit, um, pamphlets of pages and um, our outer. <clears throat> ah, cereal box. Cool. So, Erin, how's your Monday been? I was thinking about um, doing some sewing. I, when I was um, rootling through my craft supplies ready for tonight, I found some really cool patterns, sewing patterns that I bought years ago. <clears throat> As in, you know, before Lara was born. And... Uh, realize that I haven't actually made them. <clears throat> okay, so if you're dropping in, we've got some more viewers popping in and out. Quiet today. <laughs> Do you celebrate, celebrate the inner bits of card together? No, you don't. You just lay them out on your outer bit and stick them onto your outer bit here so if I'm just gonna I'll just unpeel this for a bit so you can see ah you don't sell tape them together you lay them on your card with the tiniest gap between them and then fold that over miter it down fold it over and then put your inner over the top and hold it all in place I've got to stop peeling it back <laughs> I'm going to ruin it before I've made it. This is so sweet. Look, it's like a Barbie's ring binder. Oh, no. Got to get the print stick out again. Let's do this. Let's do this. You know, I went to my friends um, just after Christmas 
Um, that is not a huge event, <laughs> but it is in the sense that I had to travel halfway around the country for it. Um, and uh, she was watching Moana with her little girl. And now all I have in my head whenever I see anything remotely shiny is so shiny. And I don't know any of the other words. And no, I don't need to know them. <laughs> it's a bit like um, when Frozen first came out and I was teaching then and all the students just kept singing Let It Go. And I kind of wish they would. <laughs> but yeah, as I say, whenever anything's remotely shiny, I can't help it. I just start, um, I've immediately got this mad crab um, singing so shiny in my head. Now, the thing I'm going to look for while you are finishing up with where you are is I'm actually going to look for a board pen because I'm going to be showing you a demonstration of how to do, a visual demonstration of how to do pamphlet stitch before we actually start stitching. Right, excuse the squeaky chair. Be right back in a second. Oh, hi, kitty cat. You sleeping? You sleeping? Okay, how are we doing? What we are going to be doing next is taking these little booklets and we're going to be individually binding them using pamphlet binding into our little cover. So that is what you will end up with. Sorry, I keep not holding it the right way. There we go. Um, so then that's what we're going to do. So to do that, we need to have our thread and needle, which hopefully you all have. I now can't see my needle and I'm panicking slightly. And I will show you a quick demonstration of how it works. So got my whiteboard here. Hopefully it's not too shiny. It'll be nice and clear. Just going to amuse myself with some hand lettering while I wait for everyone to be ready. So this is um, a really easy hand lettering technique. You just draw an extra line where the down strike is. It's easier if you do it uh, after the fact. And then you can just draw some little lines in there to create the sense of shadow. And you just do it anywhere there'd be a down stroke. Um, you could also color it in solid and have faux, callig faux calligraphy. Uh, if you don't have a calligraphy pen, which I do not. I, fun fact, I actually attended calligraphy club when I was in year three because I am super duper cool like that. But there we are. We are going to be doing pamphlet stitch. Um, There we go, mini make Monday, so everyone stumbling in knows what we're doing. Okay, so pamphlet stitch. Let's assume that we have our piece of paper that we want to bind together. So 
Let's take that bit out. Let's try and draw that again. That's not very clear. Okay, so we've got a very wobbly piece of paper here. There was some shocking cutting out going clearly on that side. Um, and then we will shortly be punching three holes into the paper and into the outer. Now they are going to be half a centimetre in from either end and then also in the middle. Now there are two different ways of doing pamphlet stitch. Um, you can do it so all the threads come out the top at the back and then you can tie them in a pretty bow. Um, but actually we're going to do it the other way. We're going to have our loose threads coming on the inside of the paper so we can knot them on each page. I think that looks quite cute and that's what I've decided to do. So for that to work, Sorry, I'm going quiet because I just need to find my, my sketch which shows it correctly. Right, so for that to work, we take our needle and thread and go through the centre hole in this direction. Leaving, no, I've done it completely wrong, I beg your pardon. We come through... <laughs> Confused myself. Give me a moment, chat. I've completely confused myself here. As I said, this is the first time I've done this, so it's a bit a bit confusing for me. Okay, so we're going to go this way and leave a tail inside the paper. This is inside, so I best just hatch mark that to show it's hidden inside, tucked away. And then we're going to take the thread through. Bring it through and round. out this side back through here for four and leave a nice long tail so we can knot this together does that make sense you can do it the other way so that you have um, a big scoop across the across the other side but uh, yeah I can't believe I've lost my sketch. This is this is not good. <laughs> Thank you for joining me tonight. If you um, have been with me since the beginning, well done you. If you're just joining, welcome. This is Mini Make Monday with the Project Bag. And every Monday we are going to be joining together at 8pm GMT. That is um, British time. Um, but next week we're moving to British summer time. So we are going to be on BST. Um, which means I need to try and change my little chalk chalkboard. Uh, each Monday we'll be making something with um, stuff that we have around the house and it should be, um, if it's easiest if you follow me on Instagram um, because, and Facebook because I will actually be sharing the ingredients or items that you need in order to make. So let's just share this with you. I am at the project bag on Instagram and on Facebook or Facebook as some people call it I am the project bag 
Okay, so that's where you can follow me. All right, we are an hour in and we're about to do um, the piercing of the holes ready for the pamphlet stitch. Are you all with me, guys? Are you ready to move on to this next bit? Or Aaron, are you ready to move on to this next bit? Okay, I'm gonna assume we're good. So to get ready to do the pamphlet stitch, we need to have some holes, don't we? So the holes are going to go, I've lost my needle, about half a centimetre down from each end so it's about there and we're going to have three across so we need to make sure we have three evenly spaced holes. Now how you make this is entirely up to you. I'm going to attempt to make it with my needle, um, which is probably completely the wrong thing to do and totally irresponsible of me, but it is what it is. Actually, I should probably have a, a really good thick pin actually will do the same thing. Hang on. Excuse the squeaky chair again. I will try and do something about that if I can as we move forward. Obviously not tonight. I can't find a pin but a compass would work just as well if you had one of those. Knocking around the house. Let's see if we can get this to work. So I'm just going to mark where I want my three holes. One, two, three. And half a centimetre the other side. One, just eyeballing it at this point. Two, three. And then we need um, them in the middle as well. One, two, three. So what we need to do is now create, punch these into holes. Uh, you need six inner pages all together, jewels, which you'll fold over to give you um, three little booklets. So yeah, these need to be punched through. It's not gonna be the easiest job in the world, but we'll, we'll give it a go. I've not made it easy for myself, to be fair. Ah, oh, there we go. Right, so. Just pinching the first hole, punching the first hole. And let's do the same with the second hole. Bit of determination. I'm slightly scared I'm going to end up stabbing myself with this needle. But I think it's just a case of, of weakening it a little bit to get it through. There we go, there's the second one. And then the third one. So I'm just going to take a moment to poke these holes. If you're just joining us, welcome. This is Mini Makes Monday. Sorry, people who've been here the whole time are going to get bored of me saying that, but people are dipping in and out, which is totally fine. But I feel like they should be able to join. So these holes are now being punched. Now I've made the choice for the stream to actually mark my holes in dark ink so you can see where I'm putting them. One of my pet peeves about tutorials is where there is no thought given. Sorry about the chair. I've just, my needle has just pinged off towards me and gone flying behind me. So I now need to find it before someone else does by treading on it. Um, but no, one of my pet peeves about tutorials is where little or no thought is given to how clearly someone can see what you're doing who may or may not have any concept already of what you're doing. If it's a completely new skill, then they'll have no preloaded, for want of a better expression, um, 
ideas about how to do it. Oh, now this is worrying. My needle has pinged off and I now cannot find it at all. So I'm just going to sit here on the floor looking for it and keep rabbiting at you. I might see if my glamorous assistant can come and help me look for it because two pairs of eyes are, are better than one, as twere. Okay, so the cavalry has come to the rescue and hopefully between us we will find this needle that's gone flying. Ah, oh, so professional. Oh, it's all right, I found it. Don't worry, I found it. All I needed to do is move position. Oops, excuse the chair. Here we are. Right, okay, I am back. We are nearly there. We are nearly there. This project is almost finished, which is super exciting. Hopefully this will finish within an hour and a half. Uh, so it's slightly longer this stream because it's my first one. So now we are just working on getting these holes punched in the spine. Easier said than done. And it will come as no surprise to you to know that we have to do the same on the actual pages as well. It's actually getting easier as I go, which is good. So we have to do this on each each one of the pages. Now you can actually use this technique. Um, if you have an awl, it would be easier, but a pin or a sharp embroidery needle will work just as well for this. Um, I'm not too precious about my embroidery needles. I'm not too precious about many, much of my equipment, to be honest. If I need it for something, it gets used for something. If someone needs to borrow it, it gets lent out, but it's just how I am. And uh, but you could do this with um, beautiful fabrics to create your own books for people for Christmas. Um, yeah, tapestry needle would work really well. Nice thick tapestry needle. Um, yeah, so, right, so I've got my holes. Don't know how well you can see them on the inside. And I'm just going to do the same with the pages. I'm going to try and line them up. I'm going to, how I'm going to do it is I'm going to line up each fold with one of the pre-punched holes. So I'm not actually going to put the booklet central. I'm going to put it over a set of the holes instead and take it from there. And then from the other side, I'm just going to punch from the other side. I'm going to punch my needle through and use that to punch the holes in the paper. Okay. And we only need a row this time, sorry, a column this time of holes, not a full on set of three because each, let me do this and then I'll show you what I mean. because each um, page will get sewn onto one of the rows that we've created, columns that we've created in the spine. So this is relatively easy just to poke it through. I really like the idea of actually making notebooks for people as Christmas gifts. Um, we could uh, cover them in fabric, use the slightly thicker cardboard perhaps. And you can use stamps or bits of washi tape or um, do some hand lettering and create a memory book for someone. That could be quite good fun. Uh, these can be, there are nine holes in total in the spine, yes. Um, give me one moment, Jules, and I will get it out again to show you so you can see. In fact, actually, I'm going to get the whiteboard and draw it on the whiteboard because that might be might be easier. Okay, where's my whiteboard? Here we are. <clears throat> where's my whiteboard marker gone now? Oh my goodness, where's it gone? It's disappeared, I've got it, right. Woo. So for the spine,
This is very poor visual representation of the spine. You have about half a centimetre down a row of three holes, half a centimetre from the bottom, Archie. Do not scratch that chair. Naughty pussycat. Okay, and then in the middle between the two, you have three, three there as well. Okay. So these are where you punch the holes. And with each set of hole punch, you will put a little leaflet of pages. Okay. If that makes sense, Jules, can you just give me an okay in the chat and I will carry on punching holes in my pages. Any other questions as we're going along or anyone got any other ideas as to what we could use these for no don't don't apologize you're absolutely fine my love i just need to move this out of the way so oh no i've squished my book <laughs> i just need to move this out of the way so i can finish making the holes in my pages ready to do some stitching oh no hand cream tell you what hand cream's really important at the moment isn't it um just gonna do a little plug here for my lovely friend laura she is actually starting up her own business with crafters balm um i used some at unravel yarn festival in surrey when we met up bumped into each other um it's amazing how often we see each other on, on the festival circuit it's really really good um i'm just checking that I'm, these holes are lining up because that is a that is a worry if my holes don't line up. Um, and she's producing this crafter's balm with natural ingredients and it's absolutely wonderful. And when you're washing your hands, I mean, obviously we all have fairly good personal hygiene anyway, but when you are washing your hands obsessively, then, especially in chilly weather, the cracking, the cracking is a problem. Right, so at this point you should have your um, three little bundles of two pages with holes which you should just about be able to see in there and then we're going to be ready to do the pamphlet stitch so I'm going to get that up again in front of in front of the camera so you can see it grow oh sorry I've got a needle in my mouth right okay so um, this is what we're going to be doing taking one fold of paper at a time slotting it into our little book lining up the holes and we will be stitching this little mini booklet into that now one of the things I asked you to make sure you had was um, a candle a wax candle now the reason for this is to wipe your thread around it and to actually wax your own thread because not everyone has wax thread at home some people might uh, but I wanted to show you this trick which works brilliantly for if you are doing embroidery so I'm just pulling my thread through this candle um, what it does is it stops the fibres from, you can just about see, hopefully, there's a bit of a focus issue, but there is a vague line in that candle about there. Um, it just stops the fibres fraying quite so much. Um, you can get very special beeswax um, circular little things that you can drag your embroidery silks through for when you're cross stitching, which reduces the friction. So. I'm just going to thread my needle 
Now a little trick, I'm actually going to change this and just use, well, let's try two strands at once. Um, now you can do it two ways. You can choose to do it so you create a knot in the middle of your little booklet or you can do it, I'll show you a different way, and you cannot. So I've got my two strands, I'm wrapping it around the needle. Let me move this board actually so the focus is, focus is better. Wrapping it around the needle, pinching it super duper tight, pulling the needle through, so you've got your thread pinched between your thumb and forefinger just about see it and then push the eye of the needle down over the thread between your thumb and forefinger you see how tightly I'm pinching that I was pinching that for how white they went and draw through and you're done magic okay so I'm going to do this two ways I'm the first way I'm going to show you how you can do a knot in the middle of the binding and the second way I'm going to show you um, so that you don't have any ends at all. So this is the pamphlet stitch and this is the way we're going to start. We're actually going to start from the inside of the leaves of the paper and from the middle. So we're going to insert our needle into the middle holes like so. And push it through the outermost might find this easier to do it separately to start with through the outermost hole on the spine in the middle so we're coming through the edge one okay then pull it through might need some encouragement this is where the waxing is really useful. And leave a tail. It needs to be long enough to do a little knot. So I would leave it about five, six centimetres, two inches. So now we've come out through the first hole in the middle, which is step one. We're now going to bring our needle back into one of the end holes, still sticking to the same column, of course, which is step two. So being careful not to poke yourself with your needle through we go and through the hole in the paper and if they've lined up correctly it should look like so don't you love the authority with which I'm telling you guys how to do this when this is the first time I've made it as well right so through it comes and you can see we've got a nice little neat stitch there I kind of wish I was using gold thread at this point so that was step two complete now we're going to bring the thread and the needle round through the inside of the leaves and come out through the other end hole. Okay, so in, in we go through the leaves and try and aim it for that outer hole. This is where I find that they don't actually line up. We shall see. Do they line up? Can I make them line up? <laughs> they don't line up ah well this is how not to do it folks oh look at that they are just oh no 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 they're fine they're totally fine all right it's me it's just me that's in the wrong position this is cool we can work with this we can totally work with this right see if i can get that in there sorry about the poor phrasing here i shall try and do better hang on I'm going to just go off screen for a second because I need it in my lap so I can see what I'm doing. I think the problem might be that I haven't actually poked this hole the whole way through yet. There we go. Right, done. Okay, so this is where I wish I had a thimble. Maybe one of our things should be making a thimble. Useful, very useful things, thimbles. Right, my tail has got caught up and decided to go through the hole as well. There we are. So we're almost finished. There we are. Now to finish it off, the final step, yeah, they didn't quite line up. I've got a protruding page. Um, the final step is to come back through the centre hole from where we started, from the outside going in.
there we are. There's our first bit of binding complete, which is very exciting. <clears throat> so cut the thread. Let's move this out of the way again. And then we're going to just do a little knot. I've swapped scissors for ones that are less sticky. Oh, thank you, Quick Catch 10, for the follow. It's very kind of you. Welcome to Mini Makes Monday. So you can see I've done that in a little knot there. I'm going to tie it again so we're making a reef knot to give it a little bit more stability, but not too thick. and then just snip it so you haven't got too much spare thread in the middle so that's one option okay that's one option for the pamphlet binding the next option I'm going to show you works in exactly the same principle but this time um, we shouldn't end up with an end or we'll end up with one end but it should be easier to deal with and this is where it could all go horribly wrong because I've just sort of come up with this in my head and thinking that'll work. Um, actually, do you know what, guys? Uh, it's nearly half an hour, uh, an hour and a half in. I think we'll keep it simple and do it this way with the little with the little knots. So if you just want to carry on and do that for the other two, so take your thread. We'll thread the needle again. It shouldn't need re-waxing. There we are. Let's put our reminder back on the screen. So pamphlet stitch, <clears throat> we are coming out through the middle. I'm getting a round of applause now. I think it's uh, my husband dealing with the dog. So we're going to go through the middle pages. And now we're going to... line it up with the middle hole in our spine and draw it through leaving about a five centimeter tail just to be on the just to be on the safe side then we come back through the middle hole in our spine and find the holes in our pages Bring all the way over to the end hole. Pull it through, trying not to let the tail, the tail always seems to want to get involved, doesn't it? It's like a dog chasing its tail. Magnus has stopped chasing his tail. I think he's now realized that it is actually attached to him and he won't achieve anything by trying to pull it off um, right Magnus for those of you who don't know is my puppy okay and then we go in whoops into the middle here now with any luck this stream will actually be slightly oh now I'm going in the wrong hole there we go that's better that's why it wasn't working uh, with any luck I'll be able to slightly edit this stream as well so it'll be a more streamlined see what I did there version for YouTube so there we go that's finishing that off nicely I'm going to cut the thread so off putting that these scissors are sticky and tie it in a little bow then tie it again a second time I know I'm off screen at this point, but I'm just doing a reef knot, which is the same as you would use to tie your shoelaces. And then snipping the threads so they're not too long. So I now have, as you can see, two pages bound into my little book, and the final one is about to be done. Same again. So what do you think, guys, so far? Are you enjoying it? I'll leave the pamphlet stitch instructions up while I do this last one. 
has this been interesting for you um i don't i don't very much doubt i've taught you anything new uh but that's not really the aim of this it's just to have a bit of fun on a monday night while we're social distancing slash isolating i don't actually know what the latest is I'm trying not to think about it too much how have you found it tonight I'm not fishing for compliments here, I'm, I'm just looking for feedback. <laughs> and if you've got any ideas of things that you'd like to see done, um, then we can certainly look into that. For the most part, we're going to be doing it on the desk here, so it's going to be desktop crafts. But I am hoping to venture into the kitchen as we get into summer and do some more outdoorsy things as well. Also, as we head towards Easter, I'm going to be doing some things that um, you can do with children or grandchildren. Maybe even just for yourself. Fun way to spend a bit of time. Oh, good. I'm so glad you're having fun. That uh, That is my ultimate aim, really, I guess, in the situation that we're in, is um, to try and find some good and try and find some positive, constructive ways, fun ways to spend a bit of time. If you're having fun with me, then that is brilliant. That's all I could hope for, really. And I'm very pleased that I have been able to provide that for you tonight. There we go. Oh, I've kind of got the hang of this. You never know, it was my first time, would you? <laughs> there we go, right, five centimetres. Then I'm going into the top. Yeah, and hopefully coming through the pages, but it's not guaranteed at the moment, unfortunately. There we are. Bring it all the way round. I definitely think I'm going to be making some of these for people for gifts. Um, I don't know quite, quite what those, what sort of form they'll take or purpose they'll have, but. Hopefully, there'll be nice little little keepsakes for people. I've actually found it really fun doing the binding bit. The sewing bit's definitely been my favourite so far. And definitely, thank you guys for coming along. Um, it wouldn't be half as much fun without you guys, just seeing, talking to myself, demonstrating to no one. Do, by all means, you know, share that we're doing this if you've enjoyed it and let people know. And hopefully we can get more people making. Never seen book binding, so this was very interesting. They would make a nice card for birthdays, etc. Yeah, they would actually, wouldn't they? Um, and little little tiny keepsakes. I mean, as I said, you can actually fit this in a matchbox. So you could take your same decorative paper if you wanted. And um, cover a matchbox to slide them into. And then you've got a little keepsake box to go with your matchbox as well. So there we are. We have our completed, our first completed Mini Make Monday. I am ridiculously pleased with that and I look forward to seeing pictures of yours and seeing what you decide to fill them in with. Thank you so so much for joining me. I'm going to try and get this exported to YouTube as soon as I can. I am Gemma, you have been amazing and I hope you'll join me next week for another Mini Make Monday. Do please feel free to hit the follow button which is the little heart. Um, and if you've enjoyed it, perhaps give it a quick share on Instagram. If you want, you can also tap the bell icon, which will notify you next time I go live as the Project Bag for a live stream. Great. Well, I've had a lot of fun. I am really pleased. This is something I wouldn't have done otherwise without you guys. So thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for joining me and being such good sports. Take care. See you soon. Bye.